Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if your virus and threat protection is being managed by your organization. So if you're coming across this error and you're not being allowed to turn on Windows Security or Windows Defender's real-time antivirus protection, and again, it says that it's being managed by your organization, today's tutorial should hopefully be able to resolve that problem. So this tutorial is being performed on a Windows 11 computer, but should apply for Windows 7 through Windows 11, so including Windows 8 and Windows 10. And the methods I'm going to show should work on both the home and professional versions of those respective operating systems. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is start by opening up the search menu, type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best match should come back a registry editor, Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select the file tab and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you are making the backup. Set export range to all and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And once you're done with that, if you ever need to import it back in, all you'd have to do is select File and then Import and navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward. And now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start off by double-clicking on the HKEY Local Machine folder. Do the same thing now for the Software folder. So go ahead and double-click on that. Should be a Policies folder. Double-click on that one as well. And Microsoft, go ahead and double-click on it. Now, locate Windows Defender. Double-click on that one as well. And on the right side, just while you've selected Windows Defender, and I will pause the video here briefly, that if you need to catch up, you can pause the video and see the file path up at the top of the screen here. Each bank slash is a different subfolder we've gone under to get to this point. So if you just need to take note of where we are, you can see it right up here at the top of the screen. So anyway, on the right side, there should be a value in here if you're coming across this error that says Disable Anti-Spyware. You want to go ahead and right-click on that and select Delete. It's going to say deleting certain registry values could cause system instability. Are you sure you want to permanently delete this value? Select yes. So you will need to restart your computer for the change to take effect here, guys. So if we close out of here and we restart our computer, so I'm just going to right-click on the Start button, select Shut Down or Sign Out, and then I'm going to select Restart. And now if we were to open up uh, Windows Security or Windows Defender, they change the name of this almost every year, honestly, it becomes something new. But we all know what we're talking about, Windows Defender, Windows Security, all the same thing here. And it should begin checking for updates as well. We're just going to wait for a moment here until we get that green check mark, meaning that we are good to go. Or I might just wait until it shows that we're going to be updating here. So just give it a moment here. I'm just going to show you guys that Windows Defender or Windows Security is working properly.
So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.